night. <laughs> I was trying to convince YouTube that I really, really did want to go live. <laughs> that it wasn't a mistake. It just, it didn't, didn't want to believe me. But we're here. We're ready to scrap. See if I can get comments pulled up. And I'll give you all a minute to get in. Let me just change that slightly. There we go. Hopefully we get a better view of my space. I'll straighten out my mats and all the good things. So, been a little while since I did a Friday Live. Bear with me if I'm a little rusty. But the plan for tonight is to use this DIY embellishment that was left over from last month. So this is pretty much just strips of paper, strips of manufacturing, strips here. Oh, hey everybody, Gail and Ada, welcome, welcome. So these are just paper strips I put together in a DIY embellishment video last month. This was the last one left. It just sort of floated around and got lost in the shuffle. So we're gonna go ahead and use it. And I have these two photos of my daughter, Olivia, and she's climbing on something we no longer have, but used to have, which was an, it, oh, that's true, we do still have it. It's in the backyard. It's like uh, one of those, what are they called? It's a, I guess it's a jungle gym. I guess that's, that's just the most logical term for what it is. <laughs> so I get some paper out to uh, mat my photos. Yes, I'm getting my hiding embellishment used. Cheeky, cheeky embellishment tried to hide from me underneath of my embellishment tray. I thought I had gotten them all onto pages, was so proud of myself. And then I lifted it up and went, oh, wait a minute, <laughs> wait just a minute. What are you doing here? Dang it. Hate it when that happens. <laughs> huh. Grady Bird and Julie, welcome, welcome. How are y'all doing tonight? Is anybody scrapping along with me or are you just enjoying a nice tea or a glass of wine? Just relax and chat. Cause that's totally fine too. Don't really have a plan other than <laughs> I want to get this on a page. So we're just gonna wing it. Hope that's all right with everybody. Here we go, get some white borders on these. I really like white borders on my photos. I think it helps to highlight them. I get that question occasionally. Why do I put white cardstock behind every photo? I think it gives it a really nice highlight on the page and helps draw your attention to it. Now, I'm sure the reason that I printed these in black and white is because they're poor quality. Uh, pictures from inside the house tend not to be great. I don't have great lighting <laughs> throughout the rest of the house. Catching up a bit. Oh, catching a bit until our new vaccinated neighbors come over to join us on the porch. That's awesome. Woohoo! Yes, I am very much hoping we can return to some sort of normal soon. My husband and I are also vaccinated because Mississippi is, uh, I don't, I don't really know what exactly is the issue, but there seem to be a lot of skeptics. And so, the governor decided, look, we're not wasting the vaccine, so whoever wants to get it can get it, pretty much. He didn't open it completely, but just about to everybody. And so we, my husband and I were like, well, yeah, we want to get back to normal. We don't want to get sick. And let me tell you, we've been very careful because my aunt uh, got covid in 2020 and passed away and I, that was huge huge shock and eye opener for me i mean we were being careful anyway but you know when it hits home right it, it really really makes you think a little bit more carefully about the chances you were taking 
and then my oldest daughter ended up bringing it home from school. But she was the only one who got it here. We were extremely, extremely careful. That's not bad, but it's a little busy. Yeah, um, I, I know she wasn't being very careful, but still. Still, still. Kind of like that, but not super excited about it. That first one was okay, it was just a little busy. Maybe, well, maybe this one. Maybe, maybe this guy. It's got a nice little leafy look to it. I think I like that. Yep, that one feels a little bit better. It's on the back. <laughs> Always check what's on the back, that it's not something you just can't do without. But it's just a cut apart and there's two of those in there, so it's fine. We'll pull this out and give it a go. Hey, Wendy. Hey, Carolyn. Yes, I'm so glad to be back live. I have missed you guys so much. Even though we chat in the comments, that's you know it's not the same. It's just not the same. Getting to chat with you guys is just the highlight for my week. And I kind of had to take a break because my epic December daily lives kind of wore out my husband <laughs> and the kids. <laughs> so I was like, well, I need to kind of give them a break, I think. <laughs> Let them uh, recover a bit from my two to three hour lives every Friday night. <laughs> uh, but they're recovered now. They're over it. That's also why I moved it back an hour because my twins' bedtime is eight. But you parents know that that's not an in stone thing. That's that's not a they go to sleep at eight, <laughs> right? That's that's a <laughs> that's a they lay down at eight if we're lucky. So by nine though, they're usually out. Oh, I kind of like that. I think I want to bring in some more of this blue. I've got. That one paper, where is it? I was going to use it as a background, but I might have to sneak in a little border here. That I like, or I could back my photos in it. Mmm, ideas. Ideas are forming. I think I'm going to do black behind here and then the photos with the blue. Yes, we're doing great. We really are. We're doing very, very well. Thank you, Wendy. <laughs> Good timing, right, Jenny? <laughs> here I am. <laughs> oh, man. Yes. Yes, yes. I have really missed scrapping live with you guys. It's just, it's so much fun to just catch up and chat and talk about all the things that are going on. Okay, there we go. Get our photos in blue. Then I think I'm gonna tuck some black back behind that panel. That way we'll help tie in the black from the DIY embellishment. So normally, <laughs> I would pull a lot of inspiration from my photos for color choices in the layout. But because my photos are black and white, I can pull inspiration from the DIY embellishment instead and make sure that it ties in. So if you're like me and make too many DIY embellishments occasionally, <laughs> you can always do that and work backwards on your layouts. Oh, you finished your 2018 party light. Party light. Mm-mm. Project Life albums today. That's awesome. Two albums. Wow. You rocked that. That's awesome. That's awesome. I think I'm pretty close on 2018. When it's done, we'll do a live flip through of that. One of these Friday nights. Uh, and I'll let you know ahead of time when that's going to be. But if you ever can't make a live, don't worry. I always save them to the channel so that you can watch them later. 
because we just have ourselves a good old time, don't we, ladies? Hey, Jennifer, how are you tonight? I did try to pick a time that I thought my Australian New Zealander friends and US peeps could make it. I just couldn't figure out how to get Europe <laughs> to fit in the timeline because they're just far enough off timeline wise that it's like the middle of the night or the crack of dawn <laughs> when I was trying to plan it. So I said, well, it's on save. So if they can watch it later, I will reply to comments then. So these were good photos to pick for this DIY embellishment. Because it's quite large, it's quite vertical as well as horizontal. I, I needed it to be photos that I could overlap. So that definitely helps to have all this empty space in the bottom of these photos. Yeah, I like that. And then we're gonna bring in black. Maybe. Not how many. I'm running low on black. So, nope, I've got one more piece left. I've ordered some more, but it's not here yet. So, one last piece of black cardstock. Oh, happy Easter is right, that's this weekend. You know what else is this weekend? <laughs> Almost as important as Easter, at least to me. An inky quill scrap stripe. I'm so excited. There are always epic streams with so many people to chat with in the comments. <laughs> and it just makes for such a fun afternoon. That's why I like her stream. A, she's somewhat entertaining, but also there's so many people there to chat with and I just love it. I love it. Hey, Pamela. I'm trying to remember what time it is. It's on Sunday, I'm fairly sure. Is it Sunday or is it Saturday? Oh, now I've forgotten. I can't look it up on my phone. She's, it's this weekend. Is it tomorrow or is it Sunday? I can't look it up on my phone because I'm filming with my phone. Hopefully somebody else can throw that in the chat if they know. If not, I will uh, post it on the community tab after this is over. Oh, you know what would be better? I will attach it as a comment to this video. So if somebody watches it later, they can look at the pinned comment and see it at the top. So I think it's 3 p.m. on Sunday, but I'm not 100% sure. So I will verify the time and uh, update you when I have that information. Come on, there we go. You sillies, there we go. So what I'm trying to decide is, I like that this overlaps, that's kind of fun. Now this is not a nine by 12 piece of paper. This isn't actually, this is a very strangely <laughs> sized piece of paper. This is an eight and a half by 11 piece of basil, but it has, oh, it doesn't. I was gonna say, it normally is, has a like a branding strip here that adds like a half inch. Nope, it's not. I lied, Never mind. <laughs> I thought it was my last one, but I guess not. So it's just eight and a half by 11 white cardstock. So what I'll do is I'll add some borders around the outside with some paper strips, probably, to bulk it up to nine by 12. Either that or I'll just find an eight by 12, eight and a half by 11 page protector. Could do that too. I've not tried that size before. At least not recently. I'm sure I did in the beginning. You know, the old creative memories cat yes i'm alive here i am so we are back to our friday regular lives i have moved it to 9 p.m because that seemed to be a better time for both the u.s folks and the australian folks and 
and New Zealanders. I don't need to leave you out. But it seemed to be a better, better timing for those two parts of the world. And it will be saved to the channel. I think I said that earlier, uh, if you missed it. So don't worry. It'll be saved to the channel and you can catch my silly nonsense. <laughs> Anytime you like. Now, the real question is, do I want these dead center or do I want to go slightly to one side and maybe put something here? Let's see how that looks. Um, I don't really like that. I think because of the bow, I think that's what's throwing me off. Okay. So we'll just keep it in the middle then. It's 10 p.m. and you're part of Canada. Yeah, it's it's quite late on the eastern coast. So sorry about that, guys. But uh, for everybody <laughs> the other direction, <laughs> it's more convenient. And for me, it's more convenient because uh, my kiddos, these little monkeys right here, as a matter of fact, do uh, do not go to bed until 8 p.m. And so I was I was really struggling to get them into bed on time and get everybody calmed down. There we go. Before I went live. Sorry if you hear a noise in the back the background. My second oldest child has forgotten I'm live. Or does it care? I suppose that's <laughs> the alternative. Also possible. <laughs> huh. Hi, Kiwi girl. You're still scrapping at the kitchen table. Awesome. That's awesome. I might be doing that soon. We're considering a move. Not quite sure where yet, but we are considering some options. There we go. Let's go ahead and just tape it down before I change my mind. It's 7 p.m. on the western side, so perfect. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, I've had a lot of friends on the, the west coast who were telling me that I was just a wee bit too early. I was interrupting dinner, and I was like, oh, no. <laughs> so it worked out better for me and them. And I was like, well, is a win-win for most? I don't know. And if it's too late, if it's past your bedtime, don't worry. You can watch at a more convenient time. There we go. Let's get this guy settled into his happy little home. There we go. I still didn't put it right. I wanted it just above the outline. Is this off kilter? It is. No wonder that looks so weird. I was like, why is that not in the middle? Well, I'm losing my heart at the end here because that was not in the middle. I couldn't quite figure out why it didn't look right. <laughs> that'll do it. That, that, that'll do it, Laura. There we go. That's good. Okay, so it's on the page. Whoop, whoop. That's good. Now what? <laughs> I didn't think that far ahead, I don't think. Uh, so let's see. I've got some stickers. I'm a fan of stickers. What I think I might do actually, do I want to do that? No, I better not. I was going to just rip it in half because I perforated things just make me want to tear them. I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> I just want to tear them. <laughs> if there's a perforation, I want to tear them. That's just, that's where, that's where I am in life, guys. It's just who I am, really. I don't love the thick border on this, but I don't know that cutting it would make much difference because there's so much white in the middle. I'll trim it up real quick. Real quick. Again, sorry if there's noises in the background. Teenagers, you know. Almost as bad as the uh, younger set. <laughs> hey, Betsy. 
I also noticed there's quite a few folks who go live around 8 on Fridays, and I thought, well, that way I won't interfere with their lives. <laughs> Make it a little easier for you to get to Mo if you're watching those folks. Because I think, uh, who was it? Kelly Oblak went live tonight, and Victoria Marie. I don't know if she was still on at 8, but I saw that Victoria Marie was live for a while. And they are fab scrappers. I enjoyed them. They are so much fun. I think that's one of the main reasons I get so much scrapping done is when the kids go to bed, I just turn on scrappy YouTube, and I'm like, ooh, I want to do that. <laughs> It's like when you see someone making a really awesome recipe and you're like, oh, I want to make that. And so then you got to go make something. I mean, that doesn't work for me because I'm not really much of a cook, but <laughs> can cook, just don't enjoy cooking. <laughs> but scrapbooking, yes, yes, please give me some time and space and I will be scrapbooking. Do, 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 do. I don't know why it bothers me so much that it has these white lines on them. I think it's because I see it as a highlight and it brings too much attention to what should just be an embellishment of the layout. What should be in the background, if you will. And I just, visually, I don't like it. It just, it grabs too much attention. Now, if I had this on a solid white background, it probably would be fine. You wouldn't really see it. But because I've added pattern paper, it's going to irate me. Just a little bit. You know who I've been watching a lot of lately? <laughs> Shannon from uh, She's Crafty. She cracks me up. Love her. She's so funny. She says she's weird. And I'm like, you must be my same kind of weird because I get you, girl. <laughs> I'm going to be starting a collaboration with her this month. Super excited about that. But man, she can shop. I was watching her haul videos today, and I was like, ooh, girl. <laughs> if I wasn't on design teams, I would not have that much new product coming in. Oh, my goodness. But I bet she has the best time with it, though. Is anybody else watching uh, Shannon or who's your favorite YouTuber? I mean, other than me, of course. Just kidding. <laughs> who else do you guys like to watch? I'm always on the lookout for new YouTubers to watch. Because I love, love, love seeing our fantastic hobby in action. I think it's helpful to have so many YouTubers scrapbooking. Because I think that just, you know, raises the chances that new people will join in our amazing hobby. Pinterest. Oh, you go to Pinterest for your easy recipes. That's smart. That's probably better than a video, isn't it? Then you can just read it. Yes, yes. I'm very excited about our collaboration. Very, very excited. I won't give it away, but it's going to be fun. You guys are going to love it. I'm super excited. Doo, doo, doo. That will be the third Sunday of this month. It's amazing. Oh, scrapbooking Quebec. Yes, love her channel. I don't always catch when she goes, when she posts, but I try to catch later. Absolutely love her channel. She's fantastic. I'm going to just tuck this under the heart. Kind of have it drape like this. I think I'm going to add a little bit of a floral something or other, just, just for funsies down the side. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, what color? I don't want to deviate from my color palette too much. Because it's not quite monochromatic or anything, but got some good words. Always be curious. We've already got words. If there was anybody who has all the ideas and not enough time to put them into action, it's that one. <laughs> I 
Definitely. Here we go. Ooh, I'm gonna do that. That's so perfect. But you know that border, y'all, that border just makes me crazy. Sarah Swan's fantastic. She's been on YouTube a while, hasn't she? Because I'm subscribed to her and I always see her videos pop up and I try to put her on in the background when I'm scrapping because she has a very calming voice. There's so many, you're right, there are so many good YouTubers. Oh, the Allie Edwards Design Team members. I need to look them up. I love Allie Edwards style. I don't think I could ever be quite that clean, but I do try. <laughs> I just get excited about the pretty things. I want to use all the pretty things. There we go. Just gonna trim it out a little bit so it's not like Hey, look at me. I'm hanging out up here above this photo. It's like, calm down. You are, you're a background piece. You are not the star of the show. That's obviously Olivia because let's be real. That child is the star of every show, even shows she's not in. There we go. That looks better. Y'all probably can't even tell the difference. <laughs> Alright, I can see the difference. <laughs> I almost want to tuck it behind the photo, but we're actually then I'd lose my arrow. Oh, but I do like that. What if we went like no? There is something to cover up there, so I'm just gonna go for it. I don't love putting a lot of things on top of my photos, but in that case, I'm not covering up anybody. And it has a purpose. Can you bring in some pink? I do need to bring in some pink. You're right. Let me see if I can find some florals. I've got one teeny floral here. I've got some stars. That was so cool. Oh, there's some florals. Then I'm gonna have to fussy cut them. Let me see if I've got some already cut out because I've, I've got a whole bunch of things <laughs> already fussy cut out here. Oh, these are cute. Okay, let me see. I know there was a loose, here we go. There was a loose floral here. Maybe pop that just there. I think we had a bigger one. Might be able to tuck. Or not tuck. Maybe we put it on the top. I'll leave it there for the moment. Let it ruminate in my brain. And uh, if I don't move it, then I guess that's where it's going to live. Ooh, I've got another one. <laughs> he should live somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where yet, but... Maybe we'll tuck him back here somewhere. My layers are very, very well glued. Good job, Laura. Glued them so well. <laughs> you can't get anything in there. We'll start there. That gets some, some more pink on the page for sure. For sure. Let's see. I've got some pink butterflies, but I think they're all ginormous. And they would kind of take over the page. A little bit. These birds. I don't know what to do with these birds. Do we? Do we stick one of these creepy little birds? <laughs> I don't know that that guy's going to stay, but I'm going to put him there for a minute just because it's funny. If I put him there, though, I feel like I should put a flower behind him. Maybe something like that. Is that too much on one side? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see if I... There's so many birds in this kit. Oh goodness. Also a bunch of hairy moths. I'm gonna get them in there somehow. Somehow, somehow. Got a mushroom. Could we squeeze a mushroom like back behind? I think we're losing the plot here, but um 
I'm just like, I don't want these things to be left till the end. <laughs> you know, maybe we'll do a cluster down here at the bottom. Or maybe I could put it like behind the sticker. Like just peeking somehow behind the sticker. Maybe we'll leave them up there and we'll think about it. We'll see. You know what the hardest piece in this whole collection is going to be to use? <laughs> Uh, that guy right there, <laughs> it's going to be tricky. No, I'm going to tuck him behind uh, some other things. I'll just tuck him in a cluster, probably on a boy page. Easy peasy. We'll get him used. We'll get him used. No, don't you worry. What do I got in here? I've got some epoxy flare. They are moving again to who? Did I miss something? State Goddess. Yes, State Goddess is amazing. Sarah Scraps is amazing. Love her. She has some great hauls. Man, does she ever get you to buy all the things. <laughs> Sarah Scraps is a class A enabler. That's that's for sure. That's a, that's a thing. Ooh, but this one's, maybe I can get this peachy one on here. I think I like that a little better. Hide my bird a little bit. <laughs> little bird, little bird. Don't mind me. Okay, so many ideas, not enough time. I think if I use this one up here, I'm gonna have to tuck it back behind. Like popping out just there, I think it'd be okay. Um, behind the sticker is what I'm thinking. Now I've already got gold, so I don't want to bring these silver guys on here, but we could probably get some of these cork sticker things. Got a heart. Oh, I don't love that brown on here, but I don't know. I don't like that. I think it's because there's so much black. I do, however, have some hearts here. I punch out hearts quite often from the background of the papers that I have fussy cut. Sorry, brain was still in motion. Couldn't finish the sentence. <laughs> I've got some little little black and white butterflies here. I might could add in. These are from the washi. Let me find the washi. These are from the washi. I put it on white cardstock and fussy cut out some butterflies. The bike problem all over again. You're, you're not wrong. <laughs> oh, oh, the bike, the bike, the bike. I like bring, I like this light blue. I think that's a nice little addition to the, uh, the background here. Oh, here's this cute. I mean, we don't really have any yellow on here, but enjoy every moment. Got some in the flower. I don't know if I can pull that off. I don't think we have enough yellow happening. Hip hop happening. Sweet soul. Well, that's nice. Come here. And it's pink. Maybe just there to kind of balance some of that out. We'll think about that. We already got our title on here. What I'm trying to, I know I'm gonna add journaling. So what I think I'm gonna do is I think I wanna add quite a bit of journaling. So I think, I think I'm going to add, because I'm gonna be adding borders around the outside. I think I'm gonna leave some space here for journaling and just start gluing all the things down. Do, do, do. Come here. I'm just looking for another little butterfly to add up here near the top. I think that's cute. I think that's cute. Oh, Kelsey Webster. Yes, Kelsey Webster is fantastic. Yes, I enjoy her videos very much. She uses Felicity Jane like nobody else. <laughs> 
I love it. She does lots of pattern paper backgrounds. And she too has a rather infectious giggle, I have to say. Oh, MK Gun is great. Her style is awesome. It's just so cool. It's not super feminine like a lot of scrapbookers like me, let's be real. And, <laughs> but she just, oh, she just captures that, 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 uh, you know, that style that was just all the rage back in the, you know, uh, when Tim Holtz first came out, you know, and that, that more, no, oh, that's too much. Not grungy, but almost grungy style came out. Oh man, she, she rocks that so, so well. So impressive. Hey Cindy, how you doing? Between the bikes and the birds, I'm telling you, Wendy, I'm telling you. And it wouldn't be so bad, don't get me wrong, it wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't every collection. <laughs> every collection has to have a bike and or a bird. <sighs> like, okay, I get it, those are, you know, great, but can we not in every collection? I mean, nope. I swear to you that I have 50 bikes in my stash now. My kids don't even really ride bikes. Mostly because they tend to fall off of them, but that I have all these bikes and I have no bike photos. Not cool. Not cool. I'll have to like dig out some old bike photos and just do like a bike background, right? So I'm just gonna glue all the bikes <laughs> to the background and then bike photo. <laughs> That's it. That's the plan. <laughs> Keep your eyes glued. It's coming soon. I think this cluster is quite quite heavy here. I'm wondering if I should Yeah, I think I better pull that epoxy off of there because it was feeling a bit heavy. Quite honestly. Although it adds a bit of white. Ah, just go for it. It's fine. It'll be fine. Tuck our little mushroom back behind. I'm determined to get all those mushrooms used. All the birds, all the mushrooms. You heard it first here. There we go. There we go. Just tape them all together. No need to tape everybody individually when I can just tape them all together into a big old bunch of bird mushroom floral. Ta-ta! There we go. Tuck you in, little friend. Oh, in. Get, get. Why don't you want to tuck in true there? There, there, there. Ha-ha! And now you live there. Put this just, just here, I think. Yeah, that's perfect. Perfection, I love it when it all comes together. Hey, Al Sup before. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. And just tuck our little epoxy flare in there. All right, we're getting there. We're almost there. Boom, okay. All right, so if you have been crafty lately, what size are you scrapping in? I have heard rumors 
that eight and a half by 11 is making a big comeback. Because if you remember back in, uh, what is it, Creative Memory? Yeah, Creative Memories when it first came out, you could scrap in 12 by 12 and eight and a half by 11, and eight and a half by 11 was really popular. You like the two pendants in the center? Oh, these, yeah. Those are from Felicity Jane from last month's kit. And uh, I wasn't sure how I was gonna use them because there were only two. <laughs> and normally you use pendants in a series. So I was very excited to get them onto a DIY embellishment because then I knew they would be getting used. Don't cover the words. Don't cover our title. Calm down. Calm down, little flower. There you go. Just, 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 just calm down. Should I stuff the other half up here? Like fill it in a little? I think I should. Just to get it used. You've been doing 12 by 12? You just brought your first eight and a half by 11 book. See, I've been hearing that it's very popular. Oh, nine by 12 too. Yep, nine by 12 is becoming the new thing as well. I was doing nine by 12 just because it was more accessible for my girls. And I like 12 by 12. But man, those albums really are hard to store. They just take up so much space. <laughs> Imagine that, like, you know, 12 by 12 inches worth of space. Oh. Come on, that didn't work. Should we put it on top? Yeah, we'll put it on top. Then we'll cut it with, cover it with the butterfly and no one will know. Hey, Bonnie, welcome. Thank you very much. I'm just having fun. When I made my channel, I started this channel in 2017, I believe, in September. And the whole point for me was just being able to kind of get back into the, the scrapbooking community because I've missed it so much. I've been scrapbooking by myself <laughs> for a long time. And I really wanted to get back into the scrapbooking community. And I saw a few YouTubers like Inky Quill online and I was like, oh, I could do that. I could do that. I can make videos. <laughs> now, some of my earlier videos, <laughs> uh, they sound a bit weird <laughs> to be honest. But um, I had my, my Southern phone voice on because I was so nervous. Oh, thank you, Cindy. Yes, I have my scrapbooking started when I was in high school. And I created an album documenting high school. Where am I gonna put you? I feel like you should belong here somewhere. Maybe just there. Not on the flower, but in its general direction. Um, but yeah, I started scrapbooking when I was in high school and documented high school, and then right after high school, got married. And so I documented that. <laughs> right away, had my oldest son, and I never really stopped after that, because I had kids every few years after that. So, always been, been scrapping. So for, I have uh, annual albums starting in 2006. Oh, thank you, Pam. That's a Tonics glue pen. They're super cheap, too, and they last forever. It's just craft PVA glue, but it does, I mean, it does the job. It's really nice because it's so fine. Like, those fine liner bottles, they always jam for me. I don't know about you guys, but I, I constantly had them getting jammed up or stuck. So I just use that. <laughs> You scrapped 12 by 12, but you bought a nine by 12 album. I, I do enjoy a nine by 12. This is an eight and a half by 11 for those that are just joining, but I am going to probably bulk it up with borders 
to make it a nine by 12 so it'll fit in my girls' albums. So we're gonna add a little butterfly trail because of course we are. Love a good butterfly trail. Just feel like it adds a little bit of a movement to the page, a little bit of energy. Now that might be complete nonsense, but <laughs> that's what it feels like to me. So that's what we're going with. And then I'll just dot it around the page, add it to the center of my flowers. Well, I can't add it to the center of that flower because you can't see the center of that flower. Put one off to the side. Maybe we'll do a little mini trail here. Just sort of end it in the line. Uh, where else? Well, you can kind of see the flower center there, so I'll add one. There, there. That looks good. I will tell you the one place that I do not put a uh, nubo dot is behind a bird. <laughs> it ends up looking a little weird, so I don't do that. There we go. We got little butterfly trails everywhere. Yes, Cindy. I love Inky Quill too. She cracks me up. See, you know what I was talking earlier about Shannon it. She's crafty being my kind of weird. So is Inky Quill. <laughs> her style of scrapping, nothing like mine. <laughs> but her little bit of weird cracks me up. I completely identify with that level of weird. <laughs> She says she was the art nerd in school. I was the choir nerd, so I, I get you. I got you, girl. I know what you're saying. I wanted to be an art nerd. Really did. But art, in our school, you had to choose between art and choir. And I really wanted to be in choir. And my mom really wanted me to be in choir. <laughs> and I enjoyed it. I had a good time in choir. She's crafty is amazing. Oh yeah, the, the 12 by 12 al albums are really hard to store. Luckily, the Calax is like the perfect storage unit for those things. Perfect storage unit. Let me see if I can figure out what papers I'm going to back this with. Definitely some of this blue. So I'm going to trim up some of that for sure. You were the band geek. See, that was my brother. My brother was the band geek. He uh, played the xylophone in school. Or in the younger middle school, they called it the bells. He had one of those little portable xylophones. It was good too. He could play most percussion though. He was in marching band and all that stuff. Yeah, that looked like too much work. <laughs> For choir, all I had to do was open my mouth. And I have no trouble with that. We know this. I think we've done gold on here. Maybe this paper might be good. A little bit of peach, just sort of peeking. And I'm thinking peach and then another level of blue. Ooh, I like that. Oh, it's a fun mix. That's not a color scheme I use very often, but that is pretty. So we're just gonna make some paper strips and go all the way around with them, bulk it up to nine by 12. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. We well, you know in 2000, what was it, 2000? No, it wasn't 2000. My freshman year of high school was a 98. And my mom was invited to one of those creative memories parties at the church. And she knew that I was crafty. 
I used to do like stickers and drawing and things like that. Love to paint. She didn't let me paint very much. <laughs> I'm a messy person. We'll just say that. <laughs> but uh, so she brought me along and she bought some stuff to start a 12 by 12 album for her. And she bought some stuff for me to do an eight and a half by 11 album. And she decided it wasn't for her and gave me all her stuff, which was great. I thought that was awesome. So I just kept up with it. I just kept going. I don't think she expected me to stick to it, to be honest. Sure stuck to scrapbooking longer than I stuck to the flute. That's for sure. Marching band is the only thing you miss from high school, other than a few friends. <laughs> uh, no, the only thing I really missed from high school was I had a really awesome English teacher who was super motivating getting me to write. And he knew that I could write, that I was a decent writer. And he pushed me and he pushed me and he pushed me. And when I finally turned in something really good, he had it published in the school's literary magazine. <laughs> Which he also happened to be running. So I think he was really trying to kick me in gear. I do enjoy writing. I've been writing since high school too. Mostly poetry, but nothing fancy. Just whatever pops out of my head. Get in there, friendo. There we go. What I might do if it's not still not quite long enough, because it's eight and a half by eleven, so it's not going to make the nine by twelve easily. I might put a a band of just black across the bottom. I have that black cardstock. So if I do that, that'll beef up the edge, the bottom edge here. That seems really intense though. Hmm. Because I need about a half inch down. Yeah, okay. We're gonna go for it. Why not? Your scrapbooking journey started at a Creative Memories party in 96. Woohoo! That's awesome. How do I want to do that? I have this one. Okay. You were hooked immediately. Yeah, I, you know what? I've always liked taking photos and never really knew what to do with them. I had a lot of photos that I had taken over the years. They were just in a box. <laughs> like you do. Like you do. They were just in a box. <laughs> so scrapbooking was just kind of a place to put them. And I thought that was cool and, you know, kind of crafty. So I was like, well, I like playing with stickers. Sounds like a match made in heaven to me. It worked out. I really enjoyed it. And some of my early albums really are just me <laughs> gluing paper to white paper and adding stickers. And that's okay. That's okay. There we go. We're doing a build a layout today. Magical transformations. Turning eight and a half by eleven layouts <laughs> into nine by twelve. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe we're doing magical transformations, if this works. Come on, friend. Get on board. There we go. And here I went and chopped off the end of that. Should be fine, though. I'll just go longer on the other side. Sometimes it's just whatever works. You're right. I mean, to be fair, there are some times that I still just stick a bunch of stickers and glue a bunch of paper. <laughs> to be honest, we're being honest here. Yeah, I'm okay. 
I don't want to do that because it's still wet. So let me just go this way. Add tape directly onto this thingy. Yeah, I, I will say the other one, another one I really enjoy is Missy Widden. I think I enjoy scrappers who do something different from what I do. Even more because it's different. If that makes sense. Oh gosh, that was loud. Just gonna roll that tape up that it said no. No, you won't. Off you come then. Sassy tape. I, I enjoy listening to Missy talk about her girls because she's got two girls with autism as well. So I can relate. I can relate. Just tuck this little friend on here. Do, 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 do. Come on. Man, it does not want to go on straight. That's going to have to be close enough. Oh yeah, scrapping Kathy's great. That's Kathy McElfresh. I enjoy her. Yeah, I'm uh, following quite a few, of <laughs> quite a few of those ladies. I've really enjoyed getting to know folks in the in the scrappy world again. It's been really nice. Hey Nadine, thank you upside down at the moment, but thank you. Just trying to get a border on here to beef up my eight and a half by 11. So what I was trying to do is there is some basil white cardstock. I think I started this conversation much earlier. There is some basil white cardstock that is eight and a half by 11, but it has the half inch uh, border strip at the bottom or quarter inch, quarter inch boys border strip at the bottom. And so then I just have to add uh, a half inch border all the way around to make it nine by 12. It's really convenient. But I apparently am out. And I thought this was the last piece, but it is not. Okay, are you dry yet? Yes, okay, good. That'll make it easier. I can just take the back. Just tape, tape, tape. Now, I could have gone the easy route and just cut, cut a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock, but I thought I was cheating, so I didn't do it. Not cheating. Now we have to modify. We're getting creative. That's what we're doing, ladies. We're getting creative. That wasn't weird at all. There we go. Okay. Yep, as soon as we get this last border on, we'll go ahead and wrap this up. If you have any questions or anything, now is the time. I'm happy to answer questions or suggestions. If you have an idea you'd like to see. There we go. Let's get these. I'm just gonna do a thin border with the blue. just to kind of reference it, really, in the layout. There we go. Trim. Get our borders on. This will be done. 
So yeah, we'll be back here every Friday night at 9 p.m. Central. So the same time I started this one. Ish. <laughs> and if you ever miss it, it will be saved to the channel. So that you can find it later. I love to put on old lives to just listen to in the background while I'm scrapbooking. I enjoy it. Just hearing everybody chat. Well, I guess technically just the host, but <laughs> in my head. It's just like being at a crop. There we go. So I'll come in with my T-square ruler because I've lost my journaling genie again. Both of them, I don't, I really am not 100% sure how I've managed to do that, I'll be honest. Really, really not sure. But it's, it's up and vanished. So we'll just draw some, hopefully, straightish lines. <laughs> Talk about how these crazy girls loved this toy so much we still have it. Because this is from 2017. So while I might be up to 2018 in the family albums, kids' albums are about a year behind that. So we'll do a shorter line and then the date. I like to do just these weird staggered lines just, just for fun. I just think they're more interesting. And I will do the journaling later. So that's it. We're all done. Hey, Leah. I'm sorry we just finished. There's no cheating in scrapbooking. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> Good point. It just feels like cheating. That's all there is. Oh, I think this looks really cute. Really like, really, really like this. And see, you weren't expecting peach and blue and black mixing tonight, were you? You didn't think I was going to get a pastel layout out of that kit, did you? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm really glad y'all joined me. I had a great time. I've missed you guys so much. It's been really nice catching back up and just getting to chat with my scrubby friends. Alright guys, well I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. It's 10 o'clock my time and we're done. So that was fun. I'll post a picture of this onto Instagram and my Facebook page and put it in my Facebook group. Scrapbook all the pictures as well. That way if you want to see it closer up, you certainly can. But that's it guys. I'm going to wrap it up and uh, say goodnight. Bye guys.